Hi guys and welcome to the reptile hunt. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a new vivarium by using an old one. The vivarium we used in this video was uh, used before to house a pair of Stella Gamma Steliosalehi, which are commonly called as, I think it's jeweled agamas in English. Um, we refurbished the whole vivarium, the whole setup, to make it compatible for Varanus similis. Um, the animals will live there for, like, I think maybe a year or something, until I have the time to build a bigger setup for them. So, stick around. So guys, here you can see how I removed the old background of the vivarium, which was built from styrofoam and uh, like tiled cement which was really not a fun part to do because well it was glued in pretty heavily and it's been there like for five or six year years so after we got rid of the old background we could begin with the new setup of the vivarium and now i'm going to show you what i have used to do so so, first of all, we got bark fencing from the hardware store, which we glued into the vivarium using silicone. Next, we have some cork branches and uh, cork tubes. My animals absolutely love the cork tubes. They hide in there during the day when they termiregulate, and they also sleep inside of them. So. Don't forget to use those. Next we have the plants. I like to use plants which are also native to the area which your animal comes from. Here we have some Ficus benjamini. We have some Australian grass. I think it was called Carix brunea or something. And a new plant which I didn't knew before is... Uh, it is called Castanospermum australi. Yeah, I think that was the right name. Um, it's a beautiful plant which gr which grows out of uh, these kind of chestnuts ears. And in the next part, you can see how I added the new background to the vivarium. Um, in this vivarium, we just used um, simple bark fencing for the background, which you can get at your hardware art store. Um, you could also just use the whole fence and glue it into the, well, we use silicone to to apply it to the vivarium. You could just use the fence how it is, but in this part, I just wanted to remove all that metal fencing, fencing, um, all that metal wiring that we got there. I would always recommend you to do that because um, if you leave the wire in there, the animals always can get stuck in the wire and can hurt themselves. So after we have cut down all the bark pieces accordingly to the size of the vivarium, uh, we ended up with all of the dirt and all of kind of small pieces of the uh, bark itself. As you can see, we had small pieces of the bark inside of the fencing. Uh, don't throw these away, just leave them on the table. We will use it in a second. The next step is to apply the bark fence into the vivarium. For this step, I used 100% silicone, which is animal safe. Um, always make sure to use the right silicone for this. Just apply the silicone evenly onto the back wall of your vivarium and make sure to not leave any gaps without it. That way you won't end up with loose back wall pieces. Now we apply all the bark tiles onto the back wall. Um, by doing this, please make sure to not leave any gaps in between the single tiles. That way you can make sure that your background looks awesome in the end. Uh, now you can see me applying silicone in between of the gaps of the background. And now we will use all the residue and all the small particles and dust particles from the bark fence, uh, which we produced by cutting the fence down. 
just take a little container, throw all the dirt into it, uh, mix some cocoa fiber into it and apply it onto the silicone which you use to fill the gaps in the background. Uh, that way you can make sure that there is no silicone sticking out in between of the single slabs of uh, bark. And that way your background will look much more naturalistic. So the next step would be to place some weight onto the background. Uh, for that I just used the glass sheets from the vivarium, placed them onto the background and put some weight in it. So guys, unfortunately I forgot to film the installation of the side panels uh, with the bark, but I think you can imagine how I made it. It was just the same scheme which I used for the background. So again, just silicone it all in place and fill the gaps with the silicone and apply the ground mix. So on we go with the hardscape of the vivarium. Uh, here I just like to give my creativity room to flow. I don't know. I don't plan anything uh, before I set it up. I just go as I go and install the hardscape as I like. Um, I think you should do the same. Don't plan in uh, in the foreground. Just go for it. Do it, and you will see what you like. So the next step would be placing the plants into your setup. Uh, herefore, I like to rinse the plants that we buy from, I don't know, the hardware store, the plant store, wherever you get them. Uh, just rinse them really for a few days uh, to get rid all, uh, get rid of all pesticides or I don't know what they use. Some companies also use wax to get them shiny. Uh, just remove the, the tubbing, remove the earth and plant them into the soil of your vivarium. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching the video. Um, I'd like to apologize to you guys because initially I was planning to release the videos in German, but I made a sudden change of mind and decided to release them in English. So. I already had took all the footage for the video in German and now I had to use the footage that I al already shooted and had to make a voiceover in English and that is why the whole video is kind of strange. But I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to include some pics of the um, finished setup. Please uh, consider to subscribe to my channel, uh, activate the bell button to always get um... Guys, please consider to subscribe to my channel and activate the bell button so that you get notifications for my new videos. And I hope to see you real soon. Bye.